At the end of January 2023, we chose to try to escape the British weather and head around 3,000 miles south to Lanzarote, hopefully for some winter sunshine. On our first cycle, we dropped down to the cycle path which skirts the coast from Puerto del Carmen to Arecife to get the legs turning again, acclimatise and to recce the local resort. We weren't the only ones exercising and getting some fresh air and the instructor here was fairly putting them through their paces. There were some small waves breaking off the local point which was encouraging and there were a few surfers out enjoying them. The first day recce went well, blew off a few cobwebs and helped us to get a lie of the land. I recently added an Insta360 camera to my armoury and this was the first chance I got to use it. So I'm on a learning curve with it, but I'm hoping to get some interesting results once I suss it out a bit. We finished our pedal on the first day with this wee climb out of the Puerto del Carmen Old Harbour, which quickly became Big John's nemesis for the week. It's only about 150 yards long, but it has about 15% and is definitely a wee toughie. If you're enjoying this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I'm closing in on 800 subscribers now, so thanks to everyone who has done so. If you'd like to try out any of these routes, you can download the GPX files by following me on Strava at Douglas Gilligan RACC. Thanks. The next day we were joined by Big George Gibson, who had hired a bike and we headed to Playa Blanca in the south of the island. It was a tough wee windy pedal and we covered 37 miles with 2,300 feet of climbing. From Yaisa we had a great tailwind assisted 10 mile descent down to the coast at Playa Blanca where we stopped for a coffee and a bite to eat. This obviously meant that after our legs had cooled down we would be facing a 10 mile climb back up into the northerly headwind. The climb didn't disappoint, the wind didn't abate and it was a struggle retracing our steps. Big man. Well done, big fellow. On day three, Big John had his first no show day. George and I set off on a slightly less lumpy pedal and more of a recovery ride after our Playa Banca day, covering 25 miles with 900 feet of climbing. We set off towards Arecife where we stopped for coffee and a sandwich before following the coastal cycle path back to Puerto del Carmen. We managed to get a wee surfing session in up at Calieta La Famara and for Big John it was his first taste. Unfortunately the conditions weren't as good as the day I filmed this but I'll make another video covering that. La Famara is a quite stunning location and the rock formation provides a backdrop here for Big John's new favourite picture. No Big John today, cobbled off. It was a raging hangover. It was just me and George again today. Wow, super windy and climby, very climby. Run 800 feet, nearly 900 feet and five miles. The next day, Big John was again a no-show, so George and I headed for the National Volcanic Park. 
From Puerto del Carmen, we headed north through Tias, San Bartolome, and Tao on an anti clockwise loop. It felt as if we were climbing for most of the day until the final descent back to the resort. The ride by the numbers for the day was 26 miles covered with a lumpy 2,200 feet of climbing, but some of the landscapes cycling through the volcanic park were awesome. I had to laugh as a couple of friends had said, oh you love cycling in Lanzarote, it's nice and flat. Well, having been there I'd like to advise them that it is anything but. On day five, George had returned his hired bike, but Big John once again graced me with the pleasure of his company. We started heading north, climbing towards the volcanic park again, but as we gained height, it was becoming too windy and twitchy with my deep section wheels, so we decided to change our route and head back towards the coast, which resulted in us only clocking 17 miles with about 900 feet of climbing for the day. The RACV airport is only yards from the sea, and a cycle path has been built between the runway and the ocean which leads to some quite spectacular encounters. Just out for a wee bimbo today, probably about less than 20 miles. It had been really pretty windy since we arrived and I hadn't had a chance to get the drone up but it was a bit calmer in day 6 so I got her in the air. The view here is of the south coast of Lanzarote looking south towards Puerto Calero. After dropping down towards Puerto Calero we headed north and climbed for quite a while up to La Asamada which was quite a climb. Once we topped out though we had a nice long descent back through Macher and down to our digs. The ride by the numbers for this one was 15 miles with 1,700 feet of climbing. Johnny boy! Uh, My companion today has changed shape somewhat. Lost a couple of stone. Hi. This is Eamon. Nice to meet you guys. From Ireland. And he's a good cyclist. Got me breathing quite heavy here. <laughs> Thanks for turning up today, big man. The other guy who's supposed to be turning up has no showed again. I get to say again, he's got previous. So that a nice day today. Um, a bit, bit sunnier than the last few days. Uh, the sun's not fully out. It's still a wee bit hazy at the moment, but I think it's going to be a, a, a warm one. The wind was again a bit more drone friendly, so I got her up for some aerial footage. <music> 
Eamon and I had once again headed north on an anti-clockwise loop towards the National Park and once again the views were spectacular. We stopped for a minute around Mancha Blanca to have a look in this lovely wee church. Overall we had a good time cycling the Lanzarote and I definitely recommend it as a cycling holiday destination. It's certainly windy and lumpy but most of the roads have a cycle lane provision on both sides which is around a metre wide and the motorists have a very patient attitude towards cyclists. A little bit like Mallorca, the roundabouts in Lanzarote quite often have art type installations and several of them house examples of the wind toys of Cesar Manrique, arguably the island's favourite son. Eamon, that was a pleasure, really enjoyed that, it was a good wee cycle today. And it's nice to have somebody you can rely upon who turns up when they promise that they're going to turn up, they turn up. Unlike some people, can you remember that guy's name? Was he, um, no show Alfredo? That's your man, <laughs> that's your man. So, but I really enjoyed that and um, this guy cycled before, once or twice I think. He said three times, I think it's at least a dozen. That'll be a, good, a really good day, so time for coffee. Thanks Dougie. Cheers big man. In total, the holiday by the numbers, I covered 160 miles with 10,700 feet of elevation.